what I say to America is, why are you so afraid? You have no problem with gangs raping and killing people, corporate crime exploiting you, such an unfair economic system. No problem playing stupid and joining their political movements and pretending like you're doing something. Okay? We all know if the gang started ta targeting Elon Musk and them and all these people bringing in this technology to control us more, they'd crack down on They sent a bunch of dick-hard conservatives with ARs, militia to assist the police, and they'd sweep these gangs and they'd build new prisons and voila. Okay? Probably put them into slave labor to help pay for it. You know what I'm saying? But as it stands right now, with 433,000 rapes a year, with all the gang violence, with all the violence in general, domestic violence, all the drug problems, okay, all the corporate uh, uh, policies that create these problems that make these people feel like it's a good idea to do these things, okay, everyone's just plain stupid every day. Nine million people starve to death in the world. Three million uh, of them are children, okay, one in three. It's okay to these people, you know. It's the same mentality of these corporations. They come together, listen carefully, they come together in their board meetings and they define the kill rates. They say this many people are dying already. If we make these adjustments as massive corporate partners, okay, this many people are going to die. If we do it this way, this many people are, are going to die if we do it that way. That's social engineering. That is a part of corporate partnerships and business. You know that you're going to change the culture. And part of the culture is it's a culture of rape and death. When you have 433,000 rapes a year in a country, that's over 1,000 rapes a day, okay? And that's just those forms of rapes, not including rape by deception, which is creating a system where people are too stupid to, to date with their heart, and they're being deceived into dating with social norms that come from their oppressors. They have been deceived. When you're dating with the social norms that come from corporate partnerships, and not dating according to the, to the righteousness of people and the content of the character. When there's even a Martin Luther King day where he said, judge people by the content of their character, not the color of their skin. Dating with social norms that come from scientific racists is not dating based on the content of one's character. If you don't know that, you're a fucking idiot. If you need me to elaborate more, you're an idiot. Okay? In other words... You know, Elon Musk and Bezos and all them, they have a certain arrogant way of looking at things. They think this is how it should be, and they should be making a killing and laughing and saying, oh, well, that's their loss. So what? That's not my problem. That's the poorest problem. Saying bitch shit like that, knowing that the poor are disproportionately colored people, okay? And, and that thinking that's how it should be. You know what I'm saying? That's racist. To not care because they're disproportionately colored people is racist. Because they're not from your family, which is part of your race, is a form of racism. For people to date based on uh, uh, capitalist norms in terms of money, when black people are 13% of the population, and last I checked, they own less than one half of 1% of the capital, and to, to be gold diggers and hypergamous and say hypergamy is good for society, you know, dating toward the money, okay, dating up is what they call it, really dating toward hell, that's racist. You made it so black people don't have very much money, and then you said date people based on money. Is there a racial component to that? Yes. Are there poor white people that lose out? Yes. But does that change the fact that it's racist? If you say, hey, let's kill the poor people with an emphasis on non-white people. Okay, is that fucking racist? Yes. Is it despicable for women to date that type of filth and they're fucking and, and, and the middle class that are close to them? Yes. Any, any, any time a female dates people that roll with social norms for these reasons and many, many more, they are despicable, scientific, racist sluts. Do any of you doubt that? Please speak up now or you'll have, you know, please speak up when you see the video, okay? Or you'll have conceded my point. If you avoid this video, after I post it in many groups and on Facebook, and excuse me, on YouTube, okay? You'll have conceded my point. And I'm sure we can all agree that's fair. 